Good morning, everybody. So, I want to bring something up today. This is just like snakes in the grass. They'll hide under grass, behind the trees, wherever they need to be, until the time is right to strike. Folks, every time we get distracted to something else, there's something going on. I want to talk about this. Have you ever imagined what is really going on with the banking system? Well, they're like snakes in the grass because you'll be shocked by how much money is being pulled out of U.S. banks. And now we all know the biggest bank in Germany is in big, big trouble. A trillion dollars is a lot of money. If you stacked a billion dollars on top of one another, the pile would be 67.9 miles high. Imagine that. But if you stacked a trillion dollars on top of one another, the pile would be 67,000. 866 miles high and if it lined up a trillion dollars end to end the line of dollar bills would be a staggering 96 million miles long plus that's longer than the distance from the earth to the sun this article that i read really makes you think because a trillion dollars is such a vast amount of money that is truly difficult to comprehend but as we all know or maybe you don't in one week the vulnerable U.S. banks had over $1 trillion pulled out. Hordes of small and mid-sized banks are now in trouble, and that's really bad news because these institutions, most of the mortgages, auto loans, and credit cards that our economy runs on. And if you really think about this, folks, it's like snakes in the grass. We know that our southern border is open, and we know that that is a very vulnerable port for the United States. We have banks that millions and billions of dollars have been pulled actually collectively pulled 98.4 billion from accounts just in one week that covered the period when the sudden failure of the silicon valley bank and the signature bank rocked the industry think about that nearly a hundred billion dollars in deposits evaporated gone in just one week and it turns out that small being, banks were being hit the hardest but unsurprisingly, big banks actually show the inflows. Folks, overall, J.P. Morgan Chase is telling us that the most vulnerable banks in the country have lost a total of $1 trillion in deposits since last year. This is coming in from J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. So think about this. The snakes are in the grass. The snakes are surrounding us. The snakes are at our borders. The snakes are at the ports. And the snakes are in our government. So, when the snake strikes, will you be standing or will you be kneeling to the new way, the NWO, and all the other regulatory three-letter agencies? Folks, our freedom is under attack in the United States in every way we turn around. Be prepared for the snakes in the grass to strike. This is off the wall prepper, something to think about this morning. And when the snake strikes, I hope you're prepared for battle. God bless you from here in the Ozarks to wherever you're at in this big happy world. But don't think that you can always evade the snake. They're cunning. They're smart. They wait for the perfect time.